Well, this is that ramp from Royal Broom Way that WashDOT plans to close a week earlier than they previously announced. A lot of drivers are using it, trying to get onto northbound 99, and it certainly backs up this time of day. It's yet another challenge for companies who are trying to get their employees to and from the office, and they're coming up with some creative alternatives to heading into work. Companies and transportation planners gathered in downtown Seattle to strategize how to keep the gears of major employers turning as traffic grinds to a halt. From the uh, entry level to the executives, it will have impact. Holland America Group is encouraging employees to telework. About a third of their company in Lower Queen Anne works from home two to three days a week. Others work flex schedules, odd hours like 6 a.m. to 2 p.m. or 10.30 to 6.30. And some work nine-hour days, giving them a three-day weekend every other week. We're hoping for a very small business disruption, if none, because we're preparing so well for the traffic disruptions. Grange Insurance Association is a much smaller company in Belltown, and they're worried. The few times when the viaduct has been closed, like when, was it a fish truck that turned over? That was awful. People had three and four hour commutes home that night. So um, we really are taking this seriously. They say two thirds of their workforce can do their jobs at home, a major increase over just a few years ago when that was kind of frowned upon by some managers. Commute Seattle, a transportation consulting organization, is holding meetings like this all across the city so companies can share ideas and commiserate about a headache looming over every office. Some companies are expanding their van share programs. They're also handing out extra free ORCA cards so people can take public transportation. And they're telling people who plan to work from home to test out their connections, set up their home offices, because they're expecting a lot of people who maybe haven't prepared for that big day to have it arrive and maybe they won't be ready. So they're saying test that out now so that they're not stuck in a bind when that uh, big traffic mess hits. Live in Seattle, Ted Land, King 5 News.